Aloha. How y'all doing? Let's see. I'm William, and uh, today we'll be talking about combinational input and output. So let's mosey into the, our show for today and see what we have in store for y'all. Okay, so these are called multifunctional devices. Multifunctional devices. Sounds pretty fancy, but you can find one at the local Costco. So we have our acronym MFD. I don't think even I can remember all these acronym folks. At any rate, so we got our MFDs uh, at the Costco. And what are they? Okay, so it's all-in-one devices, and it can replace uh, several other devices. So fax, photocopier, printer, scanner, and even do the email. Okay, and it's all on one, one device. So let's kind of see. Yeah, so it's used a lot of times at home or at small business. Y'all might have these. Now, like anything else, there's a trade-off, right? So let's see what our, our trade-offs here are. And, um, well, advantages. Okay, it's more affordable because you can have like five devices in one or four in one. And uh, it takes up less space than all these devices, okay? And, uh, well, disadvantage. Well, you know, lower quality, less reliable than, than each device on its own. Okay, so it's kind of like the, what, um, if you can do many things, but, uh, you know, not so good at doing just one thing, all right? So jack of all trades, but master of none. Okay, but it's great. It's more affordable, and you don't have to have, like, copier and then printer and, all, you know, all this other stuff. Okay, but, yeah, check it out. Like Costco, if you do need that, those kind of things, um, or, or, you know, your local... Um, computer store. Okay, so let's let's see what else we have on our, our agenda for today. We'll also talk about the internet telephone. And it's pretty cool. So uh, we do have devices now that you can communicate uh, by voice over the internet. And, uh, you know, they have some kind of specialized software and hardware that's built in. Uh, and that's for the voice input and output. And uh, we'll have our acronym on the next slide here. So it's called VoIP, V-O-I-P, VoIP. So voice over IP. So uh, sorry, I didn't put the IP on there, but internet protocol. So voice over the internet, basically. It's a, it's a protocol or standard for sending your voice uh, and other kind of communication um, over the internet. And it's a group of technologies there. And um, yeah, so it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's uh, instead of the standard telephone service, uh, we use the internet instead. So again, we'll, we'll see. We have some advantages and disadvantages to this, though. OK, so let's see what we got there. All right, so something called internet telephony. Hmm. So use the internet to support uh, telephone communication. Uh, the old style or traditional way, uh, the public switch telephone network, PSTN. Um, and that's a super old looking phone there. It's not even metal. Yeah, it's like wood. Okay. Sometimes we just call this uh, telephony. Anyway, so it's, it's we're using the internet instead of the, the old system with the copper wires to send, um, send across our, our telephone or voice messages. Yeah. And um, here's some providers that we have. Uh, one is the phone.com. Uh, another is uh, phone power. And then probably more familiar is Skype. Y'all probably heard of Skype. And then um, also Vonage. Okay, so then it just depends kind of on what part of the country and as well uh, who supplies what. Okay, um, I, I think Vonage, they don't can't use out in the islands, but Skype you can use just about anywhere as long as you have an internet connection. So let's talk more about Skype and what that is and how it works. Okay, so again, it's using the, the voice over IP, sending our voice over the internet. And it's not just voice, right? You can do uh, text. Uh, I bet y'all are pretty good textures, most of y'all. Um, but you can also do video. It's great. It's like the... Um, 
what the old Dick Tracy comic books where they had like uh, you could talk and see the person on your wristwatch. At any rate, you can send files even. You can share your screens. There's other features uh, like that. And of course, you can go online, skype.com, and sign up for the service. Now, like anything else, you got your uh, advantages and disadvantages. So let's kind of see what th that's about. OK, so what's the advantage of Skype? Well, um, pretty much uh, it's free calls to other people that are also on Skype. So hey. Um, can't beat that unless they're paying you to call. I guess that would be better than free if they pay you to call somebody. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can use video. And um, you don't really need any special hardware, especially these days, like uh, most laptops, um, what the camera's built in, um, also to most tablets as well, if you use a tablet, that kind of thing. Um, and then even the, uh, the, the internet cameras these days are pretty affordable. You know, probably around ten dollars or so. Well, let's let's see what kind of disadvantages though we got. Um, so you do have to have both computers on when you're making calls or receiving calls. Okay, so if you don't just have your computer on, on all the time, then that's a disadvantage. And you do have to pay uh, some amount of money for the non-Skype calls. Okay, I believe it's probably cheaper than having a regular phone, but um, you have to pay some money for that, and then it's probably the biggest drawback or disadvantage is the quality and I guess reliability too. Uh, it's not as high as the traditional phone technology. So um, traditional phone technology, pretty much, you know, 99.999% of the time it's on. You know, it's just the five nines or as they call it. Okay, so it's it's. Traditional phones, uh, it's been around for a while, and so they got most of the bugs out of it by now. And um, so that's very reliable and very crisp voice, uh, as opposed to, say, Skype. And a lot of times, sometimes there's echoes, or, or, or you know, the quality's not quite as good as the regular phone service. And it's gotten a lot better uh, over the years. Uh, they improve the standard, improve how it sends voice over the internet. That kind of thing. All right, so that's all I got to say about that. And um, let's go in our last topic here for today. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, this is called da -da, virtual reality. Dang, you think reality's real enough? Now we got you know virtual reality here. All right, I have an acronym VR. Okay, another, another name for it is Immersive Multimedia. I think virtual reality sounds a lot cooler. Anyway, we're trying to simulate um, three-dimensional reality, and we're creating this immersive experience uh, with computers. Again, that's simulate, not stimulate. So you, you, you put on this gear. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Um, let's see, let's actually go to that uh, slide we're talking about it, but uh, that's pretty good visual there. So you got this headgear, you got these gloves, you might have other sensors attached to your clothes, and then um, it all goes into this virtual reality software. And then, you know, you're looking out with these special glasses or whatever, um, and you kind of see the world around you, and, and you know, you, you're going to reach out with your glove, and then inside your little world, you're going to see, you know, the representation of your hand, okay? So it, it, it's uh, pretty cool stuff, um, and it's great. A lot of times people use it for simulations. Um, well, let's, let's go to the next slide. Let me, let me talk about that on the next slide here. So we'll talk about some... Um, what you call the advantages here of, of the uh, virtual reality. So you, a lot of times you use it to train for real situations, uh, for like flying, surgery, emergencies, and entertainment. But if you just kind of think about it, um, you know, when, if, if you're going to fly an airplane, uh, you might want to practice first in a relatively safe environment, or surgery for that matter, or other emergencies. So it's, it's good for that kind of thing. OK, so that's a big advantage. And then let's see, what's the big disadvantage of the virtual reality here? Um, to be honest, you kind of look like a kook when you wear this stuff, okay? So um, 
Anyone else is looking at you, it's like, what? what's all this weird gear these guys are wearing and they all these wires hooked up? But anyway, um, I guess they still have to work on the coolness factor of virtual reality. Uh, it's got a long way before we get into uh, something like the Matrix movies, yeah. At any rate, so uh, that's all I have for y'all today, and we'll see y'all a little bit later in the show. All right, see y'all in a little bit. <laughs>